that level preview used to be a, like a mystery to me. That's a somewhat hidden area, but... No, it's not really hidden at all now, but like when I was a kid, it felt like a really secret area. All these guards do some something that they don't normally do or they'll run at you like that. Normally just like one or maybe two will run at you. But then I had like four of them coming at me at once, so I wasn't really prepared for it. That, that guard's head like always kind of reminded me of my cousin. He sort of looks like that. He also sort of looks like the, the midget in Little People Big World. But anyway... This is a pretty famous level and a pretty shitty one, not one of my favorites. I don't really like playing it, and I don't really like the ending of the level at all. The beginning's the most fun, just going through this area. I do kind of like the way this area looks, like I like those uh, those big column gates, and I, as a kid I thought it was pretty cool to be like out in the city like this. Although it doesn't really look like it, it did in the movie. But, you know, it doesn't matter, it's close enough. But you don't actually, like, chase Natalia through a tank or... Uh, with the tank while she's in the car with Ormov or anything like that in the, in the game. That's what's going on at this point in the movie. That doesn't go on at all in the game. You just have a time limit, apparently. You just find out, oh, Natalia's been taken by Ormov when you clearly escape with her in a prior level. Yeah, you, know, you start out with this time limit, which was really weird to me when I was a kid, because in Agent, there is no time limit. You don't even go to this area over here. That's why that level preview felt like such a mystery to me. Because the level preview is actually inside this uh, area right there that I'm shooting at. I do like this area back here. It does feel like really back alley, like cut off from the rest of the level, and I always like stuff like that. And also, like how they made it all weird looking with the weird red paint and everything's all torn and destroyed. Well, at least dilapidated looking. And here's another riveting stand around while Tex pops up at the top of the screen. General Ormov has taken Natalia. Oh, and then Palantine's like, I saw the car. I'll just have my my associates delay them. It's just stupid, you know. The level's not even possible to beat with the, the first time on it. And also, you, you have to do this as an objective anyway. So you wouldn't be able to, be able to beat it anyway without doing it, but I don't I don't like this part because you can't kill Valentine. I like killing uh, all these people after talking to them, but if you kill him, he can't contact his associates. It's weird how it looks like you can't go through here, but you can. But yeah, that area has body armor, which, you know, pretty rare for double agent, although it doesn't seem so rare. It's been getting so much of it lately. The jungle level has the most of it. It has like two body armor pickups. And this grenade launcher, which I don't really see why you'd use other than, like, if you weren't going to use the tank to go through the level. But, I mean, why would you fucking do that? I mean, even though taking the tank is not really interesting anymore, it was really interesting back in the day. I remember me and my dad being so impressed with this. Because you did get to ride a tank in the movie, and I guess you could say, like, yeah, well, do you get to use the tank like you can in the movie? Like, yes, absolutely, there's a tank level. And this was also rare at the time. And this, I think, is like one of the first mech sequences in a Nintendo 64 game, if not the first. And of course, the classic, like, bone crunching while the guy goes, Rawr! if you drive over him, a classic sound effect. This is how I would take the most damage, if, like, at once in the tank level, is just running over the cars. You think because you're in a tank, you could just run over the cars, but you can't. It'll explode and hurt you really badly, so you have to shoot them. As long as you do that, you know, you're alright. Also, you can't kill the civilians, but they're really not that big of a deal. But I don't like how the civilians just wear, like, red sweaters and run around and then fucking, like... <laughs> run, out, run around and, like, build, like, just surrender in the middle of the street sometimes. It's annoying. This is also the first level with the rocket launchers in it, I think, and, like, the only level where you have guards using rocket launchers to kill you. I like the sound the rocket launchers make, and I actually think a second ago, like, when I shot the, at the dude with the rocket, I think I actually shot the rocket and blew it up before it hit me. I don't think you could, I don't think any of you could do that. And that's, that's a minefield, it really just looks like a bunch of body armor pickups. You just shoot it once and you'll be able to get through it. It will all explode. Just don't go through it while they're exploding. And I do not have the route in this level memorized at all. I was really just kind of wandering around at random, and I kind of have a specific uh, path that I normally take. I normally just go right a lot of the time, and I normally end up at the right spot. 
And as long as you have that body armor and pretty much full health, which I do, you'll be able to get to this level. And yeah, you just eventually come to the end of it. Which, the level just ends. The level has no ending. I guess they ran out of time and said no way, but... Uh, no no thoughts on how to end it, but yeah, the level just just stops. It's just two walls and it stops. I remember, like, me and my dad, when we were trying to find out how to beat this level, then we just eventually like, hey, what's that? It looks like uh, the level just ends, and then it does. It just ends. It's a really shitty ending to a level. But, you know, whatever. It's not a great level. I don't like it that much, but... It is interesting at least, and it's pretty, pretty classic. I used to like that way the level just ended too as a kid. I liked the way the game looked.